your silence after the disrespect is killing them, man. That's why you never argue or react to the enemy, man. Just simply withdraw. Just simply remove yourself from the situation. Just simply resist the devil. And I promise you, he has no choice but to flee from you, chosen ones. Let me tell you something. Your silence after the disrespect is eating people alive. You got to realize that drama is their food. And every time they're in your presence, they're going to starve. Every time they're in your presence, guess what? It's going to eat them alive because guess what? We don't react to the enemy. We're not even supposed to argue with the enemy. The Bible says to resist the devil and he has to flee from you. What part you don't understand that we are not wrestling against people's flesh and blood? What part you don't understand that we're not wrestling against people's outer shell, the outer appearance, man? But we are wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are wrestling against principalities. We are wrestling against the evil doers of this world. And the devil, he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy each and every chosen one. The devil is the author of confusion. This is what makes people disrespect you. I know this message is for. This is what makes people cross you. Whether it was your family, your friends, people you work with, glory be to God, people you go to church with, people you grew up with, people, amen, you used to be in a relationship with. Let me tell you something, man. People really carry on demonic spirits on them, man. And this is why you got to stay, amen, in the will of God. You got to stay always abiding in the will of God. You have to always put on the whole arm of God. So you can withstand these fiery darts that's getting ready to come from Satan himself. The devil knows who you belong to. The devil know who you get your peace from. The devil know, amen, who you get that anointing from. He knows, amen, who you represent. He know who you belong to. So he going to try you. He going to tempt you. He going to disrespect you. He going to lash out at you. He going to cross you. And he going to send evil entities to jump bodies to go against you, chosen ones. And half of the time, the disrespect was, was for no reason at all. I don't know who this message is for. This is why people disrespect the chosen ones. Because of the Holy Spirit that we carry. Because our light is shining so bright before men. Because of the favor and the anointing that is over our lives. But you got to realize that that anointing that you have, it destroys yokes. It destroys bondages. It destroys demonic spirits. It destroys strongholds. You have a calling and an assignment of your life. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, God going to lift up a standard. Let me tell you what's going on, man. Well, I mean to tell you, man, you are so cold chosen to the point where you will, we cut people off to the point where it'd be like people never really existed in our lives before. Well, I mean to tell you, you so cold, your silence, man, your silence, man, it speaks volumes within itself. Your silence is killing people right now. It's eating them alive. Because guess what? People are so used to confusion. People are so used to uh, disrespect. They're so used to, a man turmoil. They're so used to strife. Listen to me. They're so used to uh, disagreements. People love to debate. They love to argue. They like to fight. People are full of demonic spirits until they come into the presence of a chosen one. And they see that we have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. So this is why I keep on telling you, chosen ones, What's understood do not needs to be explained. And you say, what do you mean, Jordan, the chosen one? What I'm saying is you got to know when the enemy come into your presence. Oh, he understand what's in front of him. When people disrespect you and you and they call themselves just being committed to misunderstanding, standing you. Let me tell you something. They know exactly, amen, who you belong to. Don't you get it twisted. 
When people first walk into your presence and they feel your energy, oh, you best to believe they know exactly, amen, who you belong to. Don't you get it twisted. And this is why you got to hold your peace and let the Lord fight each and every one of your battles because you're going to have people disrespecting you out of the blue. I don't know what this message is for. But when I mean tell you, people really carry on demonic spirits on them. It's, it's really getting real out here, man. Let me tell you, amen, that we are really in spiritual warfare. This is why you fighting amongst your family. This is why you fighting amongst your friends you call yourself fitting in with. This is why you fighting amongst people at your job because guess what? You're not about to be there for, for long anyway. God is getting ready to transition you up out of that job into your own business, to your own career. I don't know what this message is for. And this might sound crazy, but sometimes you got to take the disrespect. This might sound crazy, but sometimes you got to be quick to hear, but slow to speak because the devil, he's waiting to kill, steal and destroy you chosen ones. I don't know what this message is for. Sometimes you got to say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Because if we try to fight these battles and we try to go toe to toe with the enemy, we're not going to win. I don't know what this message is for. The devil is waiting for an argument. He's waiting for a reaction out of anybody. So he can have the opportunity and the chance to destroy you. Let me, let me tell you something. When people disrespect you, they don't love you. I'm sorry to tell you that. If you want respect, you got to give respect. So the fact that people disrespected you on purpose, you'd be surprised how many people will blatantly disrespect you. You'd be surprised how many people will blatantly cross you. You you will be surprised how, how many people will blatantly lash out at you, man. And you ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. You was so real. Hey, man, now you starting to be honest with people. And guess what? Now they can't take the honesty. People telling you to be honest with them. They telling you to keep it real with them. And when you finally keep it real with them, you finally being honest and you call them out on their bullshit. Now they want to call you an asshole. Now they want to call you all kind of names. Now they want to they wanna lash out at you. They want to try to fight you. The only reason why they're coming at you like this is simply because guess what? They've been jealous of you the whole time. Only reason why they're disrespecting you is simply because, guess what? They don't have no respect for you whatsoever. They don't respect who you stand for. They don't respect who you believe in. And let me tell you something. When they disrespected you, just know that they, dis they disrespected God. Just know just when, when, when they disrespect you, amen, they disrespect God. It's like a slap to God's face. I don't know what this message is for. And this is why you have to simply withdraw. Because when people disrespect you, I promise you, man, it's going to feel like a contagious disease has just jumped on you. I don't know about you. When people lash out at me, amen, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And that's the devil tempting me to try to go back to who I used to be. Listen to me. Sometimes the devil tempt me into me going back to how I used to talk. Listen to me. Sometimes the devil will try me and try to provoke me. And try to get me to go back to my old ways. Amen. But I'm going to tell you right now, the Bible says in all of your ways, acknowledge God and he's going to direct your path. So before you even go back to your old ways, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Before you go back into the way you used to talk and before you even cuss somebody out, let, let me tell you something before you even, amen, take off your earring, sister, and take off them heels and get ready to go crazy on somebody who disrespected you. You take a second and say, Lord, I need you to direct my path. Lord, I need you to order my steps right now. Lord, I need you to come in and send your angels to protect me and to keep my mind, keep my heart and my spirit. Sometimes you got to pull over to the side and pray. Sometimes you got to pull over to the side and just worship God. Sometimes you got to say, Lord, I need you to come in. Lord, I need your peace right now. I need your love. I need your joy. I need your happiness because the devil want me to go back to what I used to do and who I used to be. But he's a liar in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar and the truth in him in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do, Chobos, don't you react. Whatever you do, don't argue with people, man. Let me tell you something, man. God has so many bigger and better things in store for you, chosen ones. You ain't got time to stoop down to the enemy's level because you all the way up right now. Don't you be afraid to put it coming below and say, I ain't got time to stoop down to your level today, devil, because I'm all the way up right now. Let me tell you what's going on. See, the enemy going to come in like a flood at you, children, because guess what? 
you in that high frequency. You're going to find people disrespecting you that don't even know you. Because of the Holy Spirit that you carry. Well, let me tell you, man, you're going to have people lashing out at you and you're going to look at them like, what was that for, bro? What was that for, sis? It's simply because of your Holy Spirit. It disturbs the demons on the inside of people, man. What part you don't understand that you are chosen by the most high God? What part you don't understand that you got the peace of God that surpasses our understanding? Let me tell you something, man. When you got the peace of God that's over your life, when, when you are quick to hear and slow to speak, I promise you, man, everything is getting ready to come out. What's done in the dark will soon come into the light. Listen to me, chosen ones. You are the light that is surrounded by darkness. So expect people to disrespect each other. To disrespect you on purpose Let me say that for the ones in the back I said since you are the light That are surrounded by darkness You gotta expect the enemy To jump inside of people To disrespect you on purpose And, and the cold part about it is You ain't gotta do nothing to nobody Just start walking in your calling <laughs> Come on, talk to me. You ain't got to do nothing wrong to nobody. Just start asking God to stir up the gift in you. You ain't got to do nothing to nobody. You, I promise you, you just start praying and ask God to give you a new level of anointing. And you're going to start seeing people disrespecting you, lashing out at you. Hey, man, talking about you, hating on you, being jealous of you. Come on, talk to me. And the only reason why these things are happening is simply because the devil, he wants to destroy you. But we, we rebuke the devour right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every attack, amen, of, of the enemy. We rebuke every assignment. Glory be to God. We rebuke every plot and plan of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper in the name of Jesus. So when you got to realize when people disrespect you, it's not the actual people that's disrespecting you. It's the enemy that's coming at you foul. I mean to tell you, people worship idols every single day. I don't know what is better just for. You got to be careful out here. This is why the Bible says be quick to hear but slow to speak because God already knows his spirit is roaming around. This is why the Bible says, amen, to be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. Because the devil, he is roaming around and he is roaring like a lion. Listen to me. Seek into whom he may devour. Let me tell you something, man. These demons are real. And it just happened to me yesterday and this brother thought I was going to forget about it. But let me tell you something, brother. I'm going to pray for you. He know exactly who he is. I'm talking about, man, this brother disrespected me. Yesterday, I'm, I'm coming from getting me some good old soul food. Let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. I'm just coming from getting me some good old soul food. And I gave a, a compliment on his ride. I said, hey, man, you got a nice Mercedes, man. But just because somebody has a nice vehicle or somebody dressed nice and he was dressed really nice. Let me tell you about these wolves in sheep clothing. So I said, hey, my brother, just to test the spirit. I said, man, I love your vehicle. Oh, thank you. Well, I mean to tell you he had a prideful spirit. Listen to me. What I mean to tell you, he had a haughty spirit and he not even knowing. I feel that energy on you, my brother. Listen to me. So some, some kids was running around. Hey Amen. It was a different ethnicity. Now, I love all my ethnicities. I'm not racist whatsoever. Hey Amen. But it was like, I think it was some Hispanic children running around. They were jogging. Hey Amen. And this is how I can tell by his spirit. He said out of his mouth. And this is how I knew that he carried on demons on him. Listen to me. He said, He said, You know that this used to be. Our country and he was an african-american brother. He said this used to be our country man He said I can't stand a man these these different ethnicities. Amen. He said I can't stand these other races He said they think they taking over everything. This is ours. We built this we built that And I, I said in my I said to myself I said let me go ahead and get away from this brother because this brother is real evil I can feel evil spirit on this brother. This brother is real devilish why are you going to just disrespect these people out here, amen, running and walking? I don't care what color they are. This is the land of the free. I don't care what color people are. 
This world do not belong to us. This world belongs to God. And when he said that, I already felt that haughty spirit on him, that prideful spirit on him. Trust me, I felt it on him. And I wonder why he kept scooting closer and closer to me. And I'm not saying not one word. Well, let me tell you, I was silent the whole time. I'm not saying not one word. Until I finally got my food. And I said, stay up, everybody. Stay up, brother. God bless everybody. God bless you, brothers. You know what he's going to say? He says, stay down. I must have looked at this fool. He said, don't use that blessed word around me. Talking about saying that blessed that blessed word is is you know they lying to us saying that the bless that blessed word is 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 not real or that blessed word amen glory be to God don't mean that we truly blessed and highly favored. I said you a lie devil with the truth and in you. I said I'm gonna pray for you, and I kept on walking. Listen to me. I said you I said you have a blessed day. I said God bless you. He said don't you say that word again. I looked at him right in his face. I got right in between his face. I said God bless you. I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I said, I rebuke you in, in, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. And I walked away. When I mean to tell you to look on his face. It was eating him alive. It was killing him because guess what? He already know that he carry on demonic spirits. I'm not about to sit up here and argue with you, devil. I'm not about to sit up here and go toe to toe with you, devil. And this is what I'm trying to tell you, chosen ones. Spirits are roaming around right now. Let me tell you, demonic forces are real. Evil entities are real, man. The devil, he's a spirit. And he jumps inside of different people to go against you, chosen ones. And you don't even have to know people. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. When you feel a devilish spirit on him, all you got to do is rebuke it and keep on moving. We ain't got time to be arguing with the devil. And every time you find yourself arguing with people, guess what? Guess what? You find yourself arguing with a demon. You find yourself reacting to a devil. You're not even reacting to, a, to the person. You're not even arguing with the person. you arguing with a spirit. I don't know what this message is for. This is why when you feel disrespected, guess what? This is why it feels like a contagious disease. It, it feels like the enemy is pulling you down. It, it, it feels like, hey amen, you, you become weak all of a sudden. But the minute you resist the devil and you remove from his presence, guess what? You got power. You got joy. You got peace. You got happiness. You saying to yourself, you wiping your forehead off. You like, who? Lord, I thank you for a way of escape because you already know the devil is trying to kill you. The devil is trying to destroy you. He's trying to steal your peace. The devil want to steal your happiness. He want to steal your joy. So he would jump inside of anybody to come against you. But I mean to tell you right now, this joy that you have, the world didn't give it to you and the world should have can't take it away. This peace that you have right now, the world did not give it to you and that devil cannot take your peace away. And half of the time, let me tell you something, man, it's not worth your blood pressure rising up. It's not worth it. It's not worth you being in the hospital or being behind bars by stooping down to the enemy's level. Now you find yourself arguing with flesh and blood. Reacting to somebody who disrespected you and, that, and now guess what Now you the one ended up in trouble And they the one that got away That's how the devil do Knowing that guess what You did not start the disrespect for this You didn't start the confusion The devil started the confusion in the first place I don't know what this message is for but this is why you have to be quick to hear but slow to speak This is why the more silent you become The more closer you get to your destiny this is why when you are silent, guess what? It rubs the devil the wrong way. Because guess what? The devil can't figure out your next move. He don't know what you're thinking. He don't know what you're praying. He don't know what's in your mind. He don't know how to attack you when you are silent. And this is how cold you are. This is how powerful you really are is when you be silent in people's presence. This is when you know you're really powerful. Listen to me. You have to learn how to practice humility. You have to practice humbleness. You have to practice being quick to hear but slow to speak. Because I'm here to tell you right now, that's where you get your power from. That's where you get your strength from. That's where you get your knowledge and wisdom and understanding from. Is from you being silent. 
So in the midst of chaos, be silent. In the midst of a storm, be silent. In the midst of an argument, you tell that devil and you say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put it in the comments below right now and say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Because I don't care how many demonic spirits are coming at you. I don't care how many demonic forces coming at you foul. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You got to realize, man, you are the light that is surrounded by darkness. Listen to me. You wonder why the Bible says many are called, but a very few are chosen. It's a lot of people, amen, that were called by God. But that don't mean that they answer the phone. There's a lot of people out here that were called by the devil and you'd be surprised they answered the phone on the first ring. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but you find yourself arguing with people who is not a true worshiper of God. You find yourself arguing with people, amen, who do not have a prayer life with God. Because believe it or not, guess what? You can have an argument without being disrespectful. You guys can come to a conclusion without any curse words. I don't know what this message is for. You guys can come into an agreement Glory be to God without you guys disrespecting each other. I don't know what this message is for. And you wonder why the Bible says when there are two or three or more that are gathered in his name, guess what? God going to be in the midst. You wonder why the Bible says a family that prays together stays together. If God is not in your relationship, it's not going to work. I said, if God is not in that marriage, oh, it's not going to work. This is why you're being disrespected. If God, glory be to God, is not around you while you're at that job, guess what? You ain't going to be at that job for long. Because people going to have the tendency to disrespect you, lash out at you, cross you, mistreat you, mishandle you because you belong to the Most High God. Look how bad they disrespected Jesus. They played dice on his robe. And now you telling me that's not disrespect? They beat his back end with 39 stripes for your healing power to this day. And you telling me that that's not being disrespectful? You telling me they put a crown of thorns on his head and you telling me that's not disrespectful? You telling me they fed him with vinegar, they fed his scars and his wounds, and you know when vinegar hits, it's going to burn. You telling me that's not disrespectful, man. But what, what did God did? Glory be to God, he held this peace. Listen to me, man. Come on, man. You telling me that when Jesus, he couldn't even carry his cross, and they watched him suffer while he carried his cross. You telling me that's not disrespectful. But don't worry about it. Because God had a ram in the bush for Jesus. God might sit high, but he looks slow. Amen. And this is why God sent that black man to help Jesus carry his cross. Listen to me. Sometimes people will disrespect you so bad. Half of the time, not even knowing what they're doing because they operate under the demonic spirit, right? But then God will send an angel that's going to respect you. Amen. God will send a stranger. That's why you got to be very careful of entertaining a stranger. It could be an angel unaware. Listen to me. You will get to a point in your life where you get tired of disrespect. You get tired of the, the mistreatment. You get tired of people mishandling you to the point where you can't take anymore. But guess what God will do? He will always have a ram in the bush for you. God ain't going to just let people disrespect you and get away with it. God not going to let your family disrespect you and get away with it. I don't know what this message is for. God is not going to let, amen, amen, friends and, and people you work with disrespect you, amen, and get away with it. Let me tell you something, man. You hold your peace, man. That's what Jesus did. 
He held his peace when he was getting disrespected by his own hometown. Listen to me. He held his peace, man. And he let God fight all of his battles. Listen to me. He had so many battles. But you got to realize Jesus knew that he had an assignment that he had to accomplish. Jesus had a purpose that he needed to be fulfilled. And this is what you got to realize. Listen to me. You have an assignment that you need to be accomplished. You have a purpose that needs to be fulfilled. And sometimes you got to hold your peace. Sometimes you got to keep your mouth closed Sometimes you got to look at people And just smile at them and just walk away I tell you man the more silent you are The closer you get into your destiny So Jesus held his peace He let the Lord fight his battles He hung, bled and died on the cross Glory be to God for our sins But I promise you he rose From that grave, from that tomb Amen on the third day with all power in his hands Just like you, people disrespected you People mistreated you, they mishandled you They threw you to the wolves But let me tell you what happened You rose up like Jesus And you came back leading the pack And when I mean tell you, they see you They know it's you Listen to me they understand what's around them. They feel your energy. They feel your vibe. So I'm here to tell you right now, when you come back leading the pack, let me tell you something. You ain't got to explain yourself. You ain't got to make a big announcement because the chosen one is in the room. And what's understood don't need to be explained. So the minute you walk into people's presence, stop explaining yourself. Stop influencing the energy all the time. Sometimes you got to just read the room, adapt to the energy around, because let me tell you something, you got the Holy Spirit, you got the peace of God that's over you, and it surpasses all understanding. And when the devil, a man can't read your mind, he can't read your heart, mind, and spirit, he got to flee from you. So simply withdraw yourself, so simply remove yourself, and simply resist the devil, he going to flee from you. We the chosen 